All right, guys, welcome back. Good morning. It is day two of the Mud Runner journey. It's been great. First map was great so far. W, you heard the uh, the saber intro. That's a pretty sweet intro, right? Yo, Fearness, Mestag, welcome in. Okay, well, we're in the island right now. I'm going to take a little sip of this coffee before we start here. And we'll get cracking. Probably going to do some scouting. Uncovering some trucks. Standard operations. You know what I'm saying? Mud runner stuff. <clears throat> so, uh, there has been a lot of comments on my recent video. Even though it's 3 p.m. here. Well, it's, uh, it's 8 a.m. somewhere. So, good afternoon, Corhan. Welcome in. I realize most of my audience is probably overseas. And it's probably, uh... <laughs> afternoon but hey good afternoon good, good evening good morning wherever you're at in the world all right so i've been getting a lot of comments on this little playthrough um a lot of them are super helpful it's crazy how how much people love this game um crazy in like a really good way actually so wait hold on a second what am i doing here I don't want to advanced. Yeah, stop that. Let me actually put this on full screen here. There we go. Native. Let's do this, guys. So yeah, there's been a lot. There's been a lot of folks. Um, there's been a lot of folks that are uh, really, really excited about this playthrough, and uh, I've been getting a ton of positive feedback about starting this playthrough. So. It's been really good to see. I, I never, I really didn't think it would, uh, how do I say this? I didn't think a lot of people would really want to see this playthrough on the channel until recently. And then, um, yeah, relentless. You're in Ottawa, Canada, ADM here too. Nice man. Same time zone. Okay. Well, here we go. Here's the Island. We're going to do it up. Looks like, looks like there's a nice B, what's that, B50, B66 truck there, lumber mill, watch point, fuel station, <clears throat> watch point. Okay, so I think what, I, here's what I'm going to do, I think. Um, <clears throat> oh no, you're not the only European person. There's, there's a ton of, of European folks that come in. To the channel so yeah you're not the only one uh okay so here's what i want to do i'm going to take the scout <clears throat> and against better judgment i'm going to go this way and i'm actually going to head toward this tower this watch point down here and then we're going to discover the lumber mill i'm going to come down this way i know this block post is open i'm going to come down here to the fuel station grab the watch point Garage, uh, just I guess just discover where the garage is at. Watch point, watch point, boom, and then yeah, we're gonna start cracking at some stuff. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. But let's get into the scout here. The recallable. All right, cool. Um, scout trailer. No. I just want this trunk. That's all I want. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Okay, so... <laughs> Crazy, crazy thing about this. Let me make sure. What's up, Victor? Welcome in. So, there's that crazy feeling I got yesterday, and I haven't had this feeling in a long time. So, just uh, I'm sure you guys can relate. It's it's that new game feeling. Whenever you play a game that you immediately love a lot, like you immediately find a lot of satisfaction playing, and 
legitimately, how do I say this? Playing SnowRunner for four years. Don't get me wrong, I do, I do love the game, okay? But I can, when I, like playing this yesterday, it was the same as SnowRunner, okay? It, it was, it was very similar. Um, I actually fired this game up and drove around, like after stream, like late, in the late afternoon, parts of the day yesterday. Just because I was like, hey man, I, I just kind of want to drive around. <laughs> and I haven't had that, like, like whenever I get off stream for SnowRunner, it's like I'm, I'm just done with it for the day. Like it's not, I get back on unless I have to do something for, for like a video or testing or something like that. It's like, like I legitimately have fun playing this for enjoyment. So it's kind of cool to, to play another runner game, but it still feels new. It's just weird. It's it's got that that new game feel that's just very uh, satisfying, I guess. Am I going the right way? I think I think I am. Yeah. I, oh, I am. Man, I'm actually making pretty good progress here, huh? There it is. I see it. I see it. Oh, there's a truck. Is this? Okay. Nice. He's almost out of gas, though. I'm not going to worry about him right now, actually. I'm just going to keep on kicking over. <clears throat> keep on rolling. Lumber mail. What's up, Geico? Welcome in. Let's go to this watch point. So, another thing I, I was getting to is, is a lot of folks were saying that I should just go ahead and, and uh, just stop what I'm doing and play hard mode or, or the hardcore mode. And, and why I think that's, that sounds cool and all, um, I was talking to SD1 and he, he was saying that. The only thing I'm, I'm really not, he's like, I'm doing pretty much things as I already would be playing hard mode. I just, the only thing I'd have to do is just manual loading. And he thinks that I should just play the game, drive the trucks, feel it out. And then if I want to play that or the, do like a one star challenge, which, uh, which, which could be possible. I can just do that stuff later. So I think I'm, that's what I'm kind of going to do. Just play it, play it, have fun. Not try to impose some crazy rules on myself first off. Even though I do think I probably could do it. I don't think it would be too hard. And then I got other comments um, that I should not play the bigger trucks. And honestly, I, I wasn't planning on really like busting out the big trucks to uh to just like punch through the jobs so so yeah it's uh i guess i can go this way i guess only scouts run can you even deliver logs with scouts at all Only in the American DLC? Okay. So American Wilds, okay, gotcha. Wow, this is actually pretty cool. Wow. That's pretty sweet up there. Looks like a uh, Pride Rock. Oh, the pre-packed trailers? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, haven't broken out any American trucks yet. From the DLCs, I'm just kind of uh, wanting to play a little bit more of the the standard trucks in the game for now until I get to the DLCs. Just to be honest, this this little scout runs pretty well, man. 
Another, another person was saying that I should start using auto a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, I, I probably could switch to auto and, and run up gears, but I, I kind of like the manual gearbox, so I can just kind of like set it. This is kind of like, almost like high gear, right? So, quick tip, there, there is some random in spawn. So you can watch on a map and re-roll one or two nearest trucks by restarting the game. I don't even know. Could you elaborate on that? I'm not sure I quite understand. How often do people I su suggest I install the Dega mod? Uh, quite often. Quite often. But I think uh, that's actually something uh, SD1 talked about when I talked to him earlier. He was saying to uh, to just play the play the uh, the base game, and then maybe attach like the Edega mod later. Yeah, I, I, I got that. I got that one a lot actually. To be honest, man, I actually kind of like the way the game looks in its vanilla state. It's it's kind of weird. I probably am a probably am a minority when it comes to that, but it's okay. You got SnowRunner because of my videos? Thanks for your continued service. Thanks, man. That's awesome. You're working on main? Finally got the garage up and running? Any tips for main? Um, I would say if you go back and watch my hard mode playthrough on main, a good, a good tip is to understand that you can cross the center of the map and once you do that you're going to be pretty well off but yeah i'll install that mod later i'm not i'm not too concerned with the mod right now Uh, let's see here. Oh, the watch point. Huh. Alright, let's go that way. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, yikes. Big yikes. So like the the tires on the scouts, they always roll back to center. The tires on like medium vehicles, they never roll back to center. Like I have to kind of watch it. It's almost like if I was using the controller setting on SnowRunner. Anything? Anything? Okay. Like this. This. I guess head over. Actually, I probably can go like this, honestly. Let's go like this. I probably can go like this to the watch point. Good morning, Cyrax. Welcome in. Trying to figure out ways around the second map. Yeah, um, I kind of explained that on the video as well, actually. So you, the second map, if you, if you understand how to navigate through the center where there's like uncharted territories really, or like I would say un, unmapped out routes, they're there. It, I, I use them a lot to go north and south on, uh, on Yellow Rock, actually. It's pretty much my primary way to get north and south. And you'll, you'll see it if you if you either scroll ahead a couple of episodes. But I basically use that route almost like clockwork. It's it's all the time. This is legit. To the watchtower. To the watchtower. 
It'd be cool if there was some music. I gotta say that. I'm okay. It's not like it's killing me. Okay, so I didn't even hit that, so whatever, I guess, uh... C55. Um, I guess I can go this way, probably. Honestly, heading around would be pretty sweet, but I guess we'll go to the watch point. We'll go do that stuff, and then we'll go to the watch point. Install the real names mod. Pop proper Kamaz and, and, and Kraz. Yeah, that'd be that's pretty sweet. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm excited to drive the Kamaz that I have here. My first one I, I unlocked, I think. So I think every time you complete a map, you get like a, like a point or some type of like progression point. I'm guessing. Whoa. Oh, dude, the, uh, the lumber mill's no joke. Nice. Another repair truck. I, I think I've... I think I have one of this in, one of these in my fleet actually right now that I brought over. So, log station, watch point. We're gonna go right for the watch point. Yeah, we're just going right for the watch point. You can break the stumps. Yeah, that's that's what I've been hearing. That's what I've been hearing. Honestly, this little scout actually goes pretty well. I'm very surprised. It actually feels pretty good to drive. Oh, good. I'll shift it there. That's fine. All right, last last watchtower, and then uh, yeah, we're about to start cracking at this garage. Wait, do those? Those repair trucks have garage points. Nice. Music. <laughs> the music. Well capable by default, yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Okay, the map is pretty much discovered. I want to look at something real quick. C2. Did these have gr Did these have, uh... Oh, no. no. Okay, this is just, this is just a utility add-on. Okay, it's, it doesn't have any type of garage points. Okay. Now, going back to my C430. Fireproof exhaust. Okay, so four points. Basically, let's roll. Down here. Uh, lumber mill. I will actually go check out this B26. Or, yeah, no, B66. We might actually use that in some form. We might use it to actually pull some logs because I, I don't think I have, I've ever had that truck. So I think I think we're good. Here we go.
Stop that wheel spin a little bit. Good to go. Nighttime approaches. How dare it. I'm stuck on. These trailers, they do not feel like they're a joke. They do not feel like they're a joke at all. Wait, 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 wait. A truck that's loaded with logs cannot go through the block? Cannot go through the block post? Is that, is that for real? Is that for real? <sighs> dude, you just spoiled it for me. No, it's, it's alright. Oh, dude, we're using this. <gasps> nice, dude! Looks like a little... Looks like the either the Ac Acteon? The Acteon-ish? Yo, what's up, Iconic? Welcome in. I might take this down to the fuel station, but first, I'm actually going to refuel him. Wait, can I? Yeah, there we go. It's the gas 66, so yes? Okay, cool. No. Goink. Jackknife, just like we do in SR. Whoa, dude. Oversteer, understeer is going crazy. It's not recentering, so it's like. Wow. Trucks with trucks with no lumber are allowed to pass. Okay, okay. I need to read this. I need to start reading things because this is this is the issue, and it happened yesterday. I didn't read. I wasn't reading. I was just trying to play, and that's bad. I like this truck, by the way. It's already it's already feeling good. This is probably one of the better trucks, though. I feel honestly. What, what is it, guys? Let me know. What what is this truck? Is it middle of the road, or is it kind of? Uh... Shihiga. Gas 66. I wonder if I can use that for logs. Pretty sure I can use it for like small logs, maybe. Maybe we might do that. As I remember, the Kraz is the best one? Okay. I kind of thought so. Long, the longest standing truck in the series. One of the longest standing trucks in the series, actually. Wow, dude. We just pushed through that. That's awesome. Care. I love it. I think I'm probably spinning too much, but it's alright. This is great.
great. Okay, uh, I want to go get this B. So wait, what is the Tega then? Like, isn't it the 255? Do you know what I'm saying? Isn't this... Isn't this it? Pretty sure... Isn't it the 255? Or am I dreaming? See, I want to use. I have to be 131 here. I could use this for logs. Fuel station, lumber mill. Oh, okay. I, I know exactly what I have to do. I know exactly what I have to do. Give me a second here. I, I can can I reconfigure this thing when I get it to the garage? Is that a thing? The C five C two five five is a take a yes. Okay, cool. Gotcha, gotcha. W. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So what I'm going to do is you make a left follow the road. Okay, cool. I need to get there fast too though because I don't have much gas. The C260 too? Okay. I wonder if I can go without auto drive right now and save some fuel. So I have an idea. I need to set up two fuel tankers, and then I just basically, I'm gonna start running, running logs like crazy. And I'm just gonna run like this for now. And I'll, I'll switch his, his configuration up, I think. I'm not gonna use him. I wanna use the gas 66 and the 131 actually right now. And maybe, maybe the, the, the Kraz, yeah, maybe the Kraz, not the Kraz, I mean the Kamaz. That's another one I might, I might want to use. Oh my goodness, dude, that consumption is insane right now. Oh, here's the road. What am I doing? I can say this, the, the tires on this thing, they look... Okay, so like the, the normal OHS-2s in SnowRunner, they don't look as wide as this. But these look like, like a single wide track. I love the flex of this the suspension and stuff, man. This is great. This is great. They do, they feel like the real deal. They, they legitimately. I feel like the trucks in this game, they feel, how do I say this, they feel, it's like they feel more formidable, but they also feel like they're, like with concerning like weight attached to them, like they are subject to, you know, like if you're hauling something heavy, you feel it, like you really feel it. Yeah, the OHS2s are the Ural Kraz, yeah. That's why I wish that like those tires were like almost exclusive to those vehicles. It kind of look like this a little bit more, not necessarily like super kind of like thin and narrow tires. Well, I mean, to be honest, they, they perform amazing, so I can't really complain. All right, cool. So, section what's damage? Let me actually just do my utility attachment. There we go. Now I'm gonna go to the garage. I'm gonna swap an attachment out. No, I don't need 900 liters.
Fuel cistern. This might be okay, I think. Yeah, this is what I want. That's what I want. Um, because... Yeah, here's what I want him. I probably don't even need to, to put him here because if I'm already running down here, but I might just... I'm actually going to put him there. I'm going to drive him back to like here ish like this little junction right here that'll be my fuel truck for for this run to this lumber mill and then i, I mean i need to put a, a truck here for with gas to make this run and then after that it's pretty much just plug and play so yeah, that's kind of what we're doing this game is like the beam engine Uh. Let's go. You saw the panel buildings next to wood houses. I was like, man, I'm home. Wow, really? Yo, Horn, are you, are you from? Are you from, like, this area? Did I try the PS4 button? I have not. I have not tried the PS4 button one, no, I haven't. Oh, dude, I need to actually cut up through. I haven't tried it yet. Really? I need to do a W. I need to try it. Honestly, I think if it's a manual install, that's the only thing I don't want to like mess it up. I'm not super good with manual installs, unless it's like super easy. I'll probably have to check it out. It's probably easier than I think. You're from Russia? Oh man, welcome in. Uh, where, where am I going, Nate? Where are you going, Nate? Okay. Oh, this is where I'm putting this, yeah. Okay, get out of here, tree. Okay, this is where it's going. Wait, I didn't fill up this? Oh, bad. I'm bad. Hold on, guys. Guys, I'm sorry. Guys, I messed up. Oh, I messed up real bad. Yeah, I'm going to do it just because of, like using the crane. Yeah. Was it saying the tanker? I'm not sure. Oh, it says flammable? Oh, nice. I forgot to fill up this cistern. <laughs> so I gotta wheel back around. That's okay. We're like right here though. It's so much mud, yeah. The sloshing, right? What's up, Akimoto? Welcome in. Welcome in, Mufna. Lednor, as always. It's good to see you guys. I haven't gave you a shout out when you stopped in. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just kind of, uh. We're having a good time. <laughs> Alright, I think here's the garage, and then there's the fuel station. I just got the fuel, fill up this fuel to the cistern. I forgot to when I went by. Hmm, 
actually gets up into the gears. It's kind of cool. Okay. Nice, there we go. Let's see how auto works a little bit here. People are saying auto works pretty well. I guess. There's uh, my crossing. I almost missed it. Good morning, Ace. Welcome in. Just smash this tree. Now I'm joking. We're not going to do that. Okay, there's where the 255 sits. Okay. Next. We're going to get this, this 255. One second, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry. Okay. What do you think is better, Mud Runner or Snow Runner? I'm gonna say Snow Runner, just because. Yeah, I think Snow Runner is is definitely a better game. Um, but the crazy thing is, I think this game has surprised me more than I thought it would. I thought I would play this game and, and kind of be, I, I don't want to say disappointed, but I would think it would be like kind of as the pre as like the predecessor. I thought it would be like far, too far, too far behind, I guess. And it's, it's not that way. What's up, Scorpio? Welcome in. Okay, let's go. I need to go down to the garage. So, um... Like this, like this. Lots of, this is lots of mud. I guarantee it's lots of mud. Guaranteed. But I'm sure these trucks make it through. I'm sure this one will too as well. Snowman has more content. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been saying about the washed out color. Honestly, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It, it, gives it. it gives it that like character of grit. And honestly, like the, it looks honestly like I, I really think that watching it in 1080p is, is I'm kind of doing a disservice by streaming this in 1080p. If you would see this in, in 1440 right now, it actually looks great. Like the definition, I can't stream in 1440, but it, 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 the way it looks on my screen, the definition of it looks incredible for what it is. And the crazy thing is that, like, I have, you know, like max settings right now and my computer is like completely quiet. So it just, it's like, it's like handling it very well, I guess. Yeah, there's the, I think it's, I forget what the mod is called, but yeah, it makes it, it brightens things up. And so there is that mod that you can actually attach to this. Yeah, I think I got a comment about uh, how 
I had like an unfair comparison or something like that. Something of those sorts about this game compared to SnowRunner. I was like, am I, am I not allowed to have my own biased opinion on my own channel? <laughs> this is MudRunner, yes, Frost, yeah. This is MudRunner, yep. Okay, I'm gonna reconfigure him, get him filled up, take him over there, and then uh, we're gonna start logging quickly. The At, yeah, the At Dega Mod Pack, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. I keep forgetting the name. It's daylight. This is good. This is nice. No! You saw egg insects? Really? Really? See the suspension kind of lowering as I as I filled up. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think. I mean, like the detail. I don't know if you can even see like the scratches and dents on this thing. Like the detail of this, it, it just kind of. Even the dents on the roof, like right here. Like these dents here and stuff like that. Like small, very small, very small detail of of these these things i'm just noticing more i don't know if it's because maybe because i'm playing this on like all an ultra setting because my computer can handle this better than snow runner i don't, I don't know I, I it could be that but i mean i i do i do record video in snow runner at, at high definition okay so actually what i'm gonna do is just go straight up northbound i can go through the blockage i'll actually go like this And hmm, actually, I don't need it. I can just take it here. Yeah, I can just take it. Yeah. So oh yeah, it's fine. I can just refuel right there. It's fine. Refuel at the at the drop off, and then we'll just piece back. It's fine. It doesn't have to be in the center of the route. Yeah, some of those little details might be hard to see just because, yeah, watching it on stream, it's it just uh, restreaming this to you or like is, is definitely, it kind of like degrades quality, right? I do think SnowRunner has a little bit better, like, mud, the way the mud looks a little bit. I think definitely. So that, that definitely has been an improvement. Okay, so, so those who have played this game, do you, do you guys kind of set things up the same way? Is this kind of how you guys set it up to do this, do the logging missions or no? Okay, I don't have logs, so... Moving pretty good.
Okay, so all I can do is I can just kind of throw him off to the side right here. Yep. All right. Um. So what I'll do is one truck. I'm gonna do logs with this one. I feel bad that a lot of cool details from here were left behind in SnowRunner. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. In Russia, logs are contraband. Uh, let's see here what I want to do. I want to do mediums. Short. Wait, unavailable. Wait, it's because... I have something on here. I have a hitch or a trailer. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Cool. Cool, 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 cool stuff. So log station. Log station here. Go grab some logs. And then uh, basically head up to the lumber mill. So then we'll basically down here, this way. If I need to get gas from the 255, I'll get gas. Come up here, logging mill, spin around. And then rinse and repeat. And after this, I'll do the other, I'll do the other um, logging with the gas. Yes, we're playing Mud Runner today. Yes, this is a throwback for sure, yeah. What's going on with this gearbox? Here we go. Why are we playing MR? Because I'm I'm done with SnowRunner. I completed SnowRunner on uh on hard mode. I completed SnowRunner on on normal mode. And uh, yeah, just waiting for season 13 to drop. I don't feel like spoiling season 13 for my viewers or myself by playing it, so yeah, playing this and I'm still kind of mulling over whether whether or not I want to continue playing hard mode on SnowRunner at all, to be honest. So yeah, we're going to be playing some new games on the channel. So ho hopefully we all will enjoy it. I'm in the zone. You can feel it. You already have so many trucks? Yeah, I do. Wow, man. Just throw this down a little bit. Is the info when SR or season 13 and SR is out already? Um, I don't know. Honestly, I don't. I don't have any information for you. The PTS legitimately just came out um, less six days ago. We still don't have that classic Kamaz 4310. Yep, yeah, no, we don't. I kind of wish we did. I would have said that uh, trash the Azov Adam. Give us, give us this right here. Give us a, a six by six, six by six Kamaz. I would have loved this, man. I would have loved it. But no, I think what's going to happen is Mufna. There's probably going to be either an update or two to the PTS, and then it's going to go to live server. So my guess is probably going to be May. To be honest, that's my that's my guess for you. Just 
just make the Tatar mod? I don't know what the Tatar mod is. What's up, Matthew? Welcome in. The second order brother of Snowrunner, yeah. Like, man, Mercedes, Volvo. Yeah, those would be cool. Half of May, you'd say? You're probably right. You're probably right. I feel like they were, I think, a week behind on getting the PTS out. And the PTS was actually in, I don't want to say worse shape, but, like, they didn't even have a soundtrack for it. Uh, I've just been hearing there's there's just some things they need to iron out. So, I, I mean, there's just work to be done on it, that's all. Nothing to, like, be concerned about. It just, it just needs to get polished, that's all. A scout? Are you trolling? You, you gotta be trolling. Spin tires, mud runner, snow runner. Yep, that's how it goes. Yep. About reroll trucks. I mean, when you start a new game after loading, you can open the map and see rescuable trucks. And if they're too bad, you can restart the game. And get uh, oh, so they're basically like randomized. Can I punch this. I gotta take a picture of this, guys. I have to. I have to take a picture of this stuff. This is like... Golden. Okay. Truck is clean, yeah. <laughs> Uh, settings. Let's go full screen mode again. Native. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, they randomize with the chance. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. I never knew that. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's not tip this over. Yeah, man, give me give me a Kamaz six by six in the SnowRunner off road class. I would love it. Probably could switch down. I probably need to. Yeah. I mean, the, look at the frame flex, though. Like, wow, dude. I'm like leaning over pretty bad. Let's go. I love it. This is great. It probably gets, I, I gotta say this, it, it probably gets a little bit uh, repetitive. You know, delivering logs all the time. I definitely probably can't understand that. But for a new player, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay for me. Is there music in here? I hear music. Just 
jamming, man. The ultimate goal is to do all maps in a single, single Stark truck. Do you recover others to the map? Oh, okay, yeah. I, actually, SD1 was talking about that. Well, I'm gonna puke now. Um, yeah, you get to use cranes and stuff like that. I just haven't. I just haven't done manual loading. I probably will wait until if I do like a hard mode, I will. Yeah, the one star thing, um, basically you just use the scout, right? And then whatever you find on the map, you just use. So, yeah, I don't, how do I say this? I don't know if that would be too hard. You know what I mean? I'd have two, right now I'd have two, I'd have gas 66, two Krazes. I think I'd be good. It isn't too hard. Yeah, I think I think the trucks that I found are, are I don't know if they're better than like this one or not. I don't know. I, I have no clue. I mean, it, it feels good. I'm gonna drive up there sometime. Play without modifying the vehicles to the garage. Ooh, just go with what the map has. So, ooh, that kind of, that makes sense. So then you would have to, what would you do about fuel? What would you do about logs? So you'd have to pull a logging cart behind you then, instead of actually having something like behind. Does that, does that make sense? That's kind of like what happened with, what would have to happen, right? Stuff is thick. I probably could just be shifting down right now. Okay, I'm gonna stop by, grab a little sippy sip, drinky drink, sippage. Trailer's caught. Trailer's still caught. Okay. I think I'm getting better at manipulating the gearbox a little bit. A little better. I definitely... Definitely not good, but... Mud runner. Alright, cut through. Oh, I see the Oh, there's a road right there. Okay, nice. Yeah, we're gonna play the Gaz 66 next time. Or with, with the next lumber mill, that's what we're gonna do. So after this trip, I'm gonna jump in the Gaz, bring the Gaz down, reconfigure him, and that's what we're gonna use for logs. I've seen some videos on the Gaz 66, like in real life. That thing is a monster. Oh, this is a nice little shortcut. I like it. Where's the... Oh, logging station's over there. What am I doing? Right hand turn, left.
Yeah. Back here, man. Standard logging stations. Okay. Give me a turn. Can we make it? I think we can. No. Oh, I just Austin Powers that stuff, dude. Alright, cool. Mm, what am I doing here? I'm actually going to cross here. Hit this path. Um, you know what I'm going to do is after we get to here, I'll go like this way, come up this side, a little bit different, but not, not much different. Yeah. Come on. Everybody knows the Austin Powers turn when he's in the, he's in the hallway with the golf cart and he's like trying to make that like three point turn. Yeah. I'm glad someone got the reference. I, I make that reference all the time, actually. What am I doing here? Come on, baby. You got this. You got this. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. The groovy, baby. You're one groovy baby, baby. Okay. Okay. I like it. Yeah, you definitely can tell. It's much, much harder with a load like this. I actually wonder how much this is. Are there trucks that just in this game that just do not struggle at all with like what I have here? Can I get, can I get in high? The one plus? Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah. Medium logs are so big that it needs long trail yeah, long trailer to carry them. Yep. That's how I was very I'm very I was very confused when I saw that. Like medium logs took a an actual logging trailer. <laughs> Mr. P playing in the mud, yes sir. Turn the lights on. Oh, I, I missed the turn here, but I need to touch this point and hit it. Cool. It's all right, though. I'm pretty sure I can make this without touching my trailer. Yep. Welcome to Navin. So yesterday, actually off stream and like the later afternoon I actually was playing some World of Warships with a, with a, uh, a viewer it was kind of fun it was a good time good old time alright I'm not going to get gas here because I think I'll just get gas I don't, actually I don't need to because I'm not even taking this truck again oh, dude. you just kind of tell anything uphill you legitimately can tell. I don't think I, I could come out of this gear right now and, and kick it in. Let's see if I can, actually. 
Maybe I can. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I'll leave myself away from these tracks, though. Maybe not. Okay, let's go back in, because I don't want to tip this over. You really like the color palette? I do too. Is all of Mudrunner this slow? I think so. I, th I think that's why I like it. I think this is more along the lines of what you would see in real life if you were pulling this type of... This type of load through pure wilderness like this. Like this is kind of like the speed you would probably see. This is a bit fast. Well, right now, yeah. It's probably around like this speed, I'm guessing. Maybe even slower. Oh, dude, I hope I can pull through this. I definitely tore this up. Tire spin down a little bit. Yeah, it's probably like this. It's probably more like this speed. But yeah, Snow Run Snow Runner is a very very fast, fast paced game, or it can be. Mud Runner not so much. But you can bulldoze trees in this in this game, which is uh, in stumps as well. You just kill them. It's it's amazing. It feels like you get some type of justice, especially with the load star. Yeah. Here's the K700. Haven't even used him yet. I don't really plan to. I heard he's just really super strong. Big ones struggle less when you can't do long logs with them. And then some need to hit. Oh, wow. I want to try long logs sometime. There we go, guys. Here comes the music. It's coming in. Drop the beat here. Coming in. DJ Improv. <laughs> That's all. Hey. Nice, dude. Yeah, gas 66. Let's get it down to the garage, change it out. And we're going to start pulling some logs to this lumber mill from this log station. So, gas 66 time. Why doesn't Snowrunner sound this fire? <laughs> Is always on diff lock. That is legit. You're gonna add this song to every nice dude. <laughs> every mission in snow, you should. I just say this truck isn't that fast, but yeah, man, I. I've Max Power has sent me some uh, some video watching the guys do some off-roading and I was like super impressed, man. I just sat there in my chair and I just watched. I was like, that really just went through that. I like these, these little like repair units. I should make it a blurp sound effects. Oh, now you're talking there, Urku. The map looks pretty good. The barrier? Yeah, the barrier moves. Yeah, so if you have logs, the barrier does not move. What was that little voice that came over, like, the radio? It said something like, Yo! 
And then like the music just like started slamming. Let's go this way. Are you serious right now? Here we go. Something was under me. Something was under that was weird. This is gonna be fun, yeah. I, it's gonna be maybe challenging, I don't know. This is the first time I, this maybe the first time, I don't know. Maybe the first time I've seen always on diff. Except for I think there was a truck I seen on the American Wilds that had always on diff. as all. <laughs> okay, so. I think I, I get repaired here. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Utility trailer. Oh, I can't do anything other than this? to do logs. Okay, well, never mind. What should we do? I'm almost thinking I want to try something here. I want to try a log carrier, a log carriage, and a, and a short trailer. Yeah, let's try this. Take the B-131, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. So we'll go. I'll, I'll probably scoop some gas from that from that truck there. Then we'll head down to the kiosk or the log station or whatever. Yeah. Get some logs, turn around. Let's do it. I don't know how it's gonna be with a hitch trailer. I'm not. I'm not really a hitch trailer enjoyer, but we'll try it out. Let's just see how it does. No promises, though. No promises. I've already beat up this area pretty well. This would be six points, so I think after this I'll just go unloaded, and that'll be definitely more than eight. some fuel. I need some fuel. Gotta first some work. See ya. All right, man. Take care. Thank you for stopping in. Hope you have a good day. All right, let's go back. I see the insects. Yeah, I do. I see them. I 
Man, this just looks like very run down. Like this area just looks super run down. How we doing guys? What do you guys think? Any uh mud runner veterans? Are we doing okay right now? It's always good playing a new game where I don't really understand everything about it, to be honest. Not everything, but not like I understand everything about SR, but I, I understand a good a good bit, but it's kinda really nice to kinda play something new. Doing great, thanks man. The gearbox feels good, it's just, it's weird, because usually, to change gears in SnowRunner, it's it's down on the gearbox, and then I use the D-pad to, like, manipulate. But here, like, I, this activates, and then I can just toggle and switch from there. Warhound says I'm doing good, too. Nice, okay. That's good news. That's good news, guys. Here we go. Here's going to be the, uh, oh man. Uh, wait a second. Let's go. Oh man, this is going to be tough guys. I wonder how much resistance it's going to be with, with this this load. Already looks challenging. <laughs> well, I don't even have all-wheel drive on. What am I doing? No turn. I don't like backing trailers. I don't like doing this turn. Oh, you can see how it says it's blocked. You see that? It says that the uh, the blockage right there is it says it's it gets closed as soon as I I put logs on. Nice. Yo, is seven is seven liters a minute in SnowRunner? Is that is that that's a good value, right? That's a pretty good value. I'm pretty sure that's pretty efficient. That's really efficient, right? Seven to eight liters per minute on a, on a 270 liter. Wait a second. What am I doing here? No, I'm going the wrong way. Could you? Quite efficient. Just under two gallons. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's really good. That's really good. Yo, guys, the pumpkin, the pumpkin contest. Oh man. Can I thread this? Can I do this? Can. Yo, you know what's crazy? Look at the wheels on the trailer. They're like off-road wheels. 
they're they're at least bigger wheels, kind of, right? Or, or am I? Is that is that right? Can I get there? No, I can't. The fifty six hundred TS, like yeah, it is like thirty to thirty five, yeah. So it's extremely efficient, actually. Look, oh my, look how even more efficient it is now. Three. Even though I don't really need to do that, though. I blaze this through this swamp. Or the river, let's go. Push, baby. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh. Almost. Are there any DLCs? Yeah, there's there's a there's a few. There's a few. I am nerding out so bad on fuel efficiency. I really want to get like an like an eye tracker. Do you know what I'm talking about? I want to get an eye tracker so you guys can see where I'm looking. I'm telling you. A, lot, a big percentage of where I'm looking at is at the uh, the fuel gauge. It's it's kind of crazy. You know, Daytime approaches. Let's go. Push. No. Can I push it. Let's go. Wait, am I going the right way? I think I think I am. Yeah, just straight. Yeah, the torque bonus is crazy. I don't know how the... I don't know... Actually, if... If that that one plus is, is like, considered high range, then that's, like, Pavel's original code. So then there would be a bonus there, too. Right? Pretty sure. They feel very... They, they do feel heavy... They feel heavy, they they feel like they have a lot of balance to them. When you take weight, you can feel it, but also you can just feel the weight, like you feel as if the truck is strong compared to your environment, you know what I'm saying? Like in SnowRunner, it's kind of like, you have to avoid any type of like trees, because if you hit a tree, you get stuck, or you, you know what I'm saying? Like in this, it's not necessarily that way. Like I feel like I'm driving something that's very powerful. Spot on about the gearbox, is it really? Very proud. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Okay, so, what is it? Wait, did I, did I do it all? It's done? No, six of eight, okay. Um, what I'm gonna do... Detach this. We're gonna go alone. So I don't need that anymore. So yeah, I guess one plus is is high range in this. So if you can maintain that, you're you're pushing the 25% bonus. And then and then I guess one is just up to a hundo. And like the little shaded areas are basically like the same thing as a my guess is the same thing as like a fine tune. Just a yeah, speed limiter. Okay, I prop no, I don't need gas. It's fine. I'll make it. There's only logging missions, yes. Yep, only logging. But there's mods to make I think there's mods to make logs, basically other types of cargo, I think. Right there, there'd be some trucks tip over, hit, hit that. Look forward to watching me play hard mode with the crane. 
and scavenge the hunts. expanded version of spin tires. The only, the only thing is, man, I, I can't, I would never be able to get spin tires. It's, it's just not available. It's just, it's not available. I'll be on, like, pirating it, I'm guessing. I pirate it somehow, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I would do that. Spin tires has some of your favorite maps. I heard China, what's it called? Uh, is it China Lake or something like that? Is that what it's called? Someone was saying the China Lake DLC, I think it's called China Lake. It was really good. You know what I'm gonna do? I got an idea. We haven't went this well, I have went this way, but I haven't really like went back here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go like back here. One of my friends tried spin tires recently. That feels that feels like garbage. Latest version of the game is actually broken in many ways. Really, that's not good. And then lumber lumber mill. Yeah, we'll just take the long route this time. Just something different. Canyons is up there. The maps I'm playing right now are from spin tires. Really, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I think a lot of people were shocked that I, I never played Mud Runner or Spin Tires. That was like the biggest comment I got on my latest upload when I was on, the, on the first on the blog. People were like, "I can't believe you never played this." <laughs> Driver is very different in this one. He looks like he's been on the road for hours. Like, look at look at all the bags in his eyes. <laughs> this dude looks tired. He needs like an improv cup of coffee right now. I'm gonna say these tires look pretty sweet too, by the way. Oh. Can I lost high gear. Let's see if I can here. No, it's too slow. I need to actually get it to where it goes fast. This is why I like a shifter. I might be able to get it here. It's spooling. It's spooling. <laughs> nice. So don't worry about spin tires. It is essentially the same game as Mud Runner, with the exception of a few exclusive add ons. Okay, gotcha. It's a nice little route here. He's smuggling the si Siberian caviar. <laughs> Uh, look at this flex though. Wow, man. Like, I, I, here's the thing, man. I feel like the truck is like a force of nature, like in this game. Like, I probably could potentially run that tree down and run it over, but I would probably just stop my truck, but I could, right? He's not tired, he's just rushing. <laughs> he's too thin to be a Russian trucker. Uh, you know what? Let's go through the mud. Let's go through the mud. 
mud. Let's go to the mud. Watch, I just get here's where I get stuck here, probably. Let's do a little shift here. Whoa. Never mind. We're fine. Yo, man, that was an hour and 35 minutes that we completed this map. Hour and 35. Here goes, y'all ready for the, the beat to drop here? Feel the way. One point one hour and thirty five minutes. Let's go. That is the island. That is the island. Nice, man. That was fun. That was fun. What is next? Let's see what's next here. Start new. Wait. Start new game with casual, right? Wait. No? No. I don't want to start a new game. Single player. It would be seashore, I think. I think this is, I think it goes seashore, the crossing, downhill. And then I think, yeah, it kind of uh, progresses from there. That's what I'm guessing. This one probably is terrible. <laughs> the seashore. Let me check out what, what trucks I can get here. Did I, did I unlock any new trucks? Man. Here's what we need in SnowRunner right here. The 6900 XD. Right there, man. Deluge's last, okay. Yeah, this is what we need right here. Okay, so I got, I already had the 4310, we used him. The B66, we used him on that map. Oh! Wait, did I use this? Or did I use the 43? Which one did I use? These are pretty good. The 260, this is... Wow, dude. D535, the 7310. You couldn't pick any two Western Star trucks apart, honestly. I think this one looks exactly like the... Uh, the twin steer just doesn't have a, the twin. I think I'm guessing. It's just a six by six. I, w I do want to drive this, but I don't want to like, I maybe I should hold out just to kind of experience it. Oh, the two, five, six. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. Cause I want to drive both these cab overs. I think I'm gonna drive the, this one first, and then I put my scout. Should we put the blazer on there? Whoa, there's a Hummer. Where's the one that looks like a door wedge? Wait, which one is that? The seashore is a fun map. I played, played some, it's it was slightly reworked several times during spin times. In motor, sadly, original one I liked the most. Oh, really? Okay. Game balance, I don't have good game balance right now, right? I'm using three stars, so. No. Wait, what? Truck balance exceeds. Okay, so I need to take off one of these, so I'll take this one off. 
I'll just put the B131 back on. It still exceeds. Really? Okay. Let's go like this then. How about now? Okay. Alright guys, we're going to start this, uh, what's this called, the seashore, but I'm going to end the stream real quick, so the VODs split up, and then I'm going to restart the stream ASAP, and then we'll start this, uh, this next journey, so just, you don't have to leave the channel, it's going to all come back, so it's literally going to just reboot the stream, and then I'll be right back in a second, so hang on y'all, that is, uh, that was the island, so now we're going to play the seashore, so let's get, let's get started.